Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. You told me you liked nitrous oxide, and I really think it'll help. Nitrous oxide has a calming, soothing effect, and it'll really make what you're thinking much more vivid and real. What I'd like to do right now is I'd like to help you pick out something to think about while we use the nitrous oxide. And uh, what you should pick is something very positive that you've had experiences with. For example, or you could pick a favorite place to be. Some people pick mountains or being at the ocean or, or a sporting event that, that you like to do or even something as simple as driving. What would you pick? Basketball. Do you play a lot of ball? Yeah. Where do you play? At the IMA. Pretty intense? I've been known to get pretty competitive. <laughs> okay. Okay. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to practice being there and make it as real and vivid as possible, focusing on sensations. For example, when you pass, I'd like you to visualize the pass and feel a ball leaving your, your hands. When you dribble, feel a bounce. When you jump, feel a tension in your muscles as you leave the ground. Okay? Try to make it as real and vivid as possible. Okay. What do you think? You think that would uh, that would work for you? I'll try. Okay, great. Why don't we give it a shot? Okay. Now I'd like you to think you're walking onto the basketball court with your friends, and you've just been past the ball. How did it go, Ken? Pretty good. Were, were you able to imagine? You were playing basketball? Had some good, sen good sensations of playing. Good. OK. Now what I'd like to do is introduce you to the nitrous oxide so you can try the same thing using the nitrous oxide. The mask is just over your head. And I'd like to put the mask on you and tell you to take, take Big, deep breaths through your nose. Can you do that for me? Big, deep breath. Good. Now, if you want to get a little less of the gas, all you have to do is breathe through your mouth. Remember, you'll be feeling very calm and comfortable. In addition, your body will feel a bit different. You may feel tingly and warm or, f or even floaty. OK, at first, we're going to give you some oxygen. And you should feel a little pressure along the nose piece. Anytime you want me to stop, just give me a signal, and we'll be able to stop it. OK. okay. So I know when, you, when you're feeling comfortable, just move your finger when you feel the effects of the gas. Remember, I'm going to give you some oxygen first. All right, I'm going to tip you back now. And you can begin imagining the basketball game even, even now. I'll tell you when I begin the nitrous oxide. OK, here we go. How was that? Were you, were you there? Yeah. Let me take it off. How vivid was it? It was different this time. It was like being a spectator instead of a participant. But uh, I still felt like I was doing it, but I was watching myself from the outside. OK. Do you think that this, this is a useful technique to expose you to dentistry with? In other words, do you think you could be able to use that technique? It was very relaxing, so. Good, good. For our next step, we'll be, we'll be introducing you to some dentistry while you use that technique, while you're imagining you're playing basketball while we have the nitrous. I think you did very, very well.
Jackie, it's nice to see you again. Uh, last time was kind of a rough appointment for you, wasn't it? Yeah. What would you say was the worst part? Mm, kind of hurt. Yeah. When we started drilling on your tooth, you, you really felt it, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And yet, despite the fact that you felt it, you had told me that you know, your lip was really numb and that your, your tongue was numb. You seem to have all the sensations of, of being numb, uh, except your tooth wasn't numb. It mm -hmm. hurt. Um, do you have a history of that? Has that ever happened before? Yeah, usually, sometimes I get numb. Sometimes so, the bottom never gets. You, you, never, get, you never get numb on the, on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So every time you've had a filling uh, on a lower tooth, it's, it's hurt you. Is that right? Yeah, almost always. OK. Well, that makes today's appointment very important. Because what we'd like to do is to break that long cycle of, of, uh, of feeling pain when you have your teeth worked on. And what we have done is, is we've set aside today's appointment just to work on the anesthetic problem. What we want to do today is to demonstrate what it takes in order to get you numb. And so what we're planning to do is to perform uh, a series of tests followed by injections, followed by a series of tests, followed by perhaps uh, another injection until we're certain that you're numb. Mm -hmm. And what I'd like to do first off is to take a series of readings on your tooth before it's at all numb. We want to see how your tooth responds. And so I'm going to, to perform these series of tests, and I'd like for you to respond after I've performed each one on a 1 to 10 scale, um, where 1 would be, I don't feel it at all, to the other extreme, 10, where stop immediately. OK? OK. All right, the first test that I want to do is uh, to pass some air over your tooth. I'll pass air over your tooth, and then you give me the response. OK? okay. Two, maybe. A two? Mm. All right, the next test is to pass some water over your tooth. And after I've finished with the water, you can just swallow it. Mm. Okay. And your response? Two, maybe. Another two. Mm -hmm. All right. The third test is the ice test. <clears throat> OK. Three. And three. And the next test is I'm going to place something hot on your tooth. test is uh, for me to place the, the running drill over your tooth. I'm not going to drill on the tooth, but I want you to be able to respond to the vibration and to the, and to the air. All right. Seven. A seven. You didn't like that very much then. No. All right. The last test in this series is what we call the electric pulp test, where I pass a little current onto your tooth. And I have a little rheostat here. And as I move up on the scale, it passes more and more current onto the tooth. And what I want you to do this time is to give me a hand signal the instant that you want me to stop, OK?
All right, here we start. Okay. Good. Now, we've completed the first uh, phase of testing, that is testing before you're numb. And now what I'd like to do is to proceed with, uh, with getting you numb. I'm going to give you a couple of injections. And first we'll start with the topical anesthetic. Now I'm going to give you the first of two injections. That's the second of the two injections, and now we're going to wait three or four minutes and then perform our series of tests once again. First test is the air test, and once again, give me your response on a one to 10 scale. Two, okay. The second test is the water. Anything? No, not really. A one. A one. Okay. And then the next test is the ice. Two again. A two? Yeah. And the hot test. Hmm. Can't feel it. Nothing? One? Hmm. Okay. And once again, the, the sound. Uh, of the drill over your tooth with the vibration in the air. And what's your response to that? Five. A five. Okay. And then our last test, remember the electric test, and once again, Give me a hand signal as soon as you want me to stop, the instant you want me to stop. Okay, you felt that. We've learned something from this series of tests, and that is that Despite giving you two injections from the outset, uh, that you're not numb. And um, that goes along with your history of not getting numb. What I'd like to do at this point is to give you another injection. I'm going to give you an injection a little bit different in a different location than you may be accustomed to. I'll do that, and then once again, we'll perform the test three or four minutes later. Do you feel like going ahead? OK. Yeah. This time, I'd like for you to keep your uh, teeth together and let me just part your lips and lean your head back again. Good. And in a few moments, we'll repeat the test. Listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.